Hello, I'm Robert, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to quickly make some crystals in Blender. So I'm going to start off by making a circle, and we want to change the vertices to somewhere between 5 or 7. Well, actually even 4 is a good value, because some crystals do have 4 faces, but uh, they're not as common, and definitely don't go under 4, because it would look just pretty weird. I found 5 to be a pretty good value. So what I'm going to do is extrude this on the Z and select everything and press Ctrl N to flip the normals. And I'm going to move this up a little bit more, scale it, and I'm going to extrude on the Z, scale down, and this will be kind of like the top of the crystal, so as you can see this fairly easy uh, what I want you to do now is actually make a material before I add more crystals so I'm going to go into the node editor and I'm going to go into cycles render and to make this video even uh, shorter I want you to just use the principal shader which is actually pretty cool I have a video um, talking about the principal shader so if you want to learn about how this works make sure to check that out actually I might upload that video in a few weeks because what I'm doing actually is pre-recording for Christmas so I want to change the base color to something bluish although you could do something green something yellow something reddish just do whatever color you feel like I want to go with blue and we want to change the roughness so make the roughness maybe 0.03 and also a clear coat uh, pretty much what the clear coat is it's sort of like adding an extra layer of roughness into a crystal actually I'll show you very quickly but first I'm going to make some lights so I want to create an aerial lamp rotate this on the X and make this slightly blue just a little bit actually no a little bit more there we go actually that might have been too much but it doesn't really matter so I'm going to make the size 19 and the strength will be 900 and I'm going to shift D Y rotate this on the X and this will be a yellow and the reason why I have blue and yellow lights it's because real lighting in the real world is kind of like a mix so to well to get that wider color we need to mix yellow and blue I don't know the scientific reasons <coughs> excuse me but that's how it works pretty much so if I create a plane and scale this up and I want to go into world settings and make this a bit wider oops I accidentally pressed shift F2 so what I want to do now is go into rendered view and if we select our object I want to show you the difference between no clear coat and clear coat so this is with no clear coat as you can see it's already pretty glossy but if we add a clear coat it's even more glo it's glossier uh, you might not see a big difference now but when we add more crystals we'll see the crystals reflect with each other which is pretty cool but you don't really want that much clear coat because it would look a bit weird and maybe add some roughness to the clear coat if you wanted to so for the IOR I found it to be a pretty good value and for the transmission maybe something around 0.7 and this will pretty much make our crystal transparent so what I'm going to do now is go again to solid view I'm going to join this so I have a bigger view and now what I want to do is make more crystals so there are many ways of um, placing your crystals 
but I found a particular way that looks pretty realistic and pretty much it consists in well first of all adding a few bigger crystals like these and after that what we're going to do is make kind of like some crystals go out of here which looks really nice and I'll also add some thicker crystals that aren't so tall so shift Z actually maybe even make it go under and I want to rotate this on the Y as you can see that already looks pretty cool but it's kind of feels a bit empty so what I'm going to do is add a few more make sure you have quite a bit of rotation and that you scale it down for these lower ones so I want to change I want to change to uh, normal and I want to shift Z so we make this one thicker and go back into global so we can place these easier and that already looks pretty cool so we could add a camera if we wanted to and make it render so if you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to like and subscribe and if you have any suggestions or any questions or whatever you want to share make sure to comment down below thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye